بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم this question is come from Dr. Sabri why are neonates vitamin K deficient why neonate liable for hemorrhagic disease of the newborn why neonate liable for vitamin K deficiency bleed due to three causes first maternal cause placental cause neonatal cause maternal cause maternal disease and drugs Mother on anti-epileptic medications like phenobarbitone and phenytoin or carbamazepin, this medication will interfere with vitamin K metabolism. Mother on anti-TB medications like isonazide or INH or rifampicin, also this medication will interfere with vitamin K metabolism. Mother on anti-coagulant medication also will interfere with vitamin K metabolism. The human milk, actually, the human milk is inadequate source of vitamin K. The human milk, it's equal one microgram in one liter. In the formula milk, 50 to 60 microgram in one liter. The second reason, placental reason, placental transport of the vitamin is poor. A small transport of the vitamin K. The third, it will be neonatal reason. Neonatal intestine actually is sterile, sterile neonatal intestine for first few days of life. Also, the hepatic biosenses, hepatic biosenses of clotting factor inadequate in young infants. So, maternal cause disease and the drugs and the human milk is this scanty of amount of the vitamin K or inadequate vitamin K source placental transport is poor and the neonatal cause is trial in uh, gut of the in, uh, in trial uh, gut of the baby also the hepatic biosynthesis inadequate for the clotting uh, factors so why are you need vitamin K deficient for is First is small and poor placental uh, transfer. The second is sterile newborn gut. Sterile newborn gut. The third is scanty or low amount of the breast milk. The fourth is the senses or the biosenses of the clotting factor inadequate. What is vitamin K dependent factors at 1972 years? This is you, you have to memorize it by this year, 1972. So the 10, 9, and 7, and 2. This is the clotting factor, is senses or biosenses by the liver. And because the liver is immature, so inadequate uh, senses of the vitamin K dependent factors. Here, the first one here, this is a small or poor placental uh, transfer. So the infant have very limited reserve of vitamin K. The neonate having a small or limited reserve of vitamin K. The second issue, their serum level are typically about half of those of their mother. It will be 50% from the serum level of the mother. The second is sterile newborn gut. Sterile newborn gut, actually for the first few days of life, the intestinal or neonatal intestine does not provide enteric microbial source of vitamin, of the vitamins. Actually, the neonate or receiving formula milk, the bacteroid flora and other bacteria, it will increase the senses of vitamin K dependent factors, 10, 9, 7, 2. This is because this is bacteroid and bacteroid flora, it will increase the senses of vitamin K2. This is the senses uh, actually in the gut by bacteroid flora, it will increase with the uh, formula milk. But babies receive breastfeed milk it will be this is lactobacillus and lactobacillus it will not promote vitamin K2 in the gut because that the formula feed it will be higher vitamin K than the breastfeeding and also the bacteroid flora it will more senses of the vitamin K2 rather than the lactobacillus in the breast milk. If you'll see here, the third one is scanty and low amount of the breast milk. Uh, the frequency of the vitamin K responsible for hemorrhagic disease in one month old infant is actually one in 4,000 uh, overall, but one in 1,700 among breastfeed infant. It will be higher. The hemorrhagic disease uh, or uh, vitamin K deficiency it will be higher in the breastfeed uh, infant.
also the senses in mature liver uh, the senses or the biosenses of clotting factor it will be inadequate and what is vitamin k dependent factors it will be 10 9 7 2 hepatic biosenses of the clotting factor inadequate in young infant so the plasma prothrombin concentration of the uh, fetus or and infant are typically one quarter door of their mother one quarter of their mother one quarter so the amount of the clotting factor it senses by the baby it will be one quarter compared to the mother if you will see here hemorrhagic disease of the newborn infant feed formula uh, diet at lower risk probably because of greater amount of vitamin k in infant formula than in human milk we said formula milk it will be 50 to 60 microgram of vitamin k in one liter in the breastfeeding it will be one microgram actually in one liter also the disease has also been reported for new need of the mother on anti convulsant medication anti tb medication anti coagulant medication which will interfere with vitamin k metabolism so the american academy is recommend to give uh, one milligram im single dose for all new need and when somebody will say this is a small a small dose one milligram actually one milligram it will equal 1000 times daily requirement the daily requirement it equal 1000 times the daily requirement so it will give long term protection especially for exclusively breastfeeding uh, infant exclusively breastfeeding infant at the end I would like to pray for my colleague going for Saudi board and Arab board and unit of fellowship woman ahia faka anama ahia nasa jamia shukran salam alaikum